when we were doing the stills for my book, we made a little um, video at the same time of mm -hmm. all of like my favourite places. Bristol did a little food tour. I saw it. You saw it. It was amazing. Cool. Yeah. I'm really, really pleased with how it came out because um, those are, like so many of those places are owned by friends of mine and it was mm. really lovely to kind of like spread the word. So what we're going to do this afternoon is the same thing but in your neighbourhood yeah. and do the same thing in Hackney. I can't wait. It's going to be wicked. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it and I think there might be cake in our near future. <laughs> So we're going to start a poco actually, yeah, which is which so the Bristol connection. Really well, yeah. yeah. So there's my friends uh, Ben and Jen and Tom. That's their business, and they've got a poco in Bristol, which is at the end of the road where my cafe is. So they opened a poco on Broadway Market last year, and you live. I used to live above there. I love it there. I've been there. I go there sort of for lunch and dinner. Their brunches are absolutely amazing, yeah. and they're brilliant. Like their use of vegetables, I think, is really amazing. Yeah. They use fantastic quality breads, and everything's always just delicious. I absolutely love it there. It's right on the canal and they're all about kind of like making the most of everything, reducing waste. Yeah. And they've got the open kitchen as well so you can watch the chefs cooking and when you walk in there it just feels really welcoming mm -hmm. and, it, and it's um, the, the effort and the energy that they put into it is really showing so I'm really glad that we're going to go yeah, and see them today. So we're going to start then, where else are we going? We're going to go up the road to um, Tiosk, I think. And they've got these amazing, I hope they've got them still, it looks like glass, but it's a, the, what they serve the tea in, kind of like, it looks like cut crystal, yeah, but it's yeah, a cup, yeah, and beautiful yeah. teapots and everything. Just the whole yeah, experience of drinking yeah. tea there is yeah. a real I'm a treat. I'm a big fan of tea as well, yeah. so I'm really, really looking forward to that. I had something there a while ago, which was it tasted almost like popcorn, it's like a kind of toasted, mm. I don't know what it was, but I'm going to see if they've got a toasted buckwheat or something, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 buckwheat teas have that kind of flavour. So I love yeah. it. They've done such a brilliant job on a tiny little space as well. I love mm -hmm. the interior in there too. So there. From Teosk we're going to walk up through London Field. We're trying to, okay, so we're walking across yeah. the grass. Yeah, we're going to go to quite a new cafe called Dandy. Um, I heard my friend Rosie said to me, she's just written a book all about East London yeah. and she's like, I said, well, where, where's the news that I should go? And she said, yeah. try Dandy. Yeah. At the weekends they do amazing brunches. I would say it's a kind of mixture of kind of, it feels to me a bit like kind of, you know, the brunch scene in Australia where right, okay. they're using lots Lots of interesting produce. They're kind of, you know, good coffee, good yep. British food, yeah. But with with some interesting kind of international twists as well. Then we're going up to my favourite bakery, E5. E5 Bakehouse, yeah. Bakehouse which, in the arches. Yeah, under the arches. You know. It's like a big arch just filled with people baking amazing breads. That I think they have like five or six different breads that they, you know, religiously bake, and yeah. then they have some other, you know, little treats and stuff. Um, and that is the bread that we buy every single week. My partner John works, you know, really close by to there, so you know, on his way home. It's always like, well, you're going to pick up a Hackney Wild. So it's um, like a, a, a twinning project between uh, East London and Bristol. So we have Hearts Bakery, which was in the video, yeah. and, and Laura's Bakery is in the Railway Arch as well. Uh, and it's really, it's, uh, they're both doing the very similar thing, just making absolutely amazing bread and, yeah. and turning a Railway Arch into this amazing hub mm. of like mm. delicious baked things. <laughs> And then from there we're going to walk up to Raw Duck, yes. um, which is um, the sister restaurant of Duck Soup yes. in Soho. It's another really amazing space. And what I love there is their menu is a bit offbeat. They do yeah. lots of lovely fermenting. They make lots of their own kind of like drinking vinegars yeah. and all of these things that I've come across kind of in my sort of travels around America and stuff. And they're actually bringing some of that stuff into the kind of you know into the kind of tapestry of Hackney. And then we're going to finish with cake, Violet Bakery, yeah. which is. Um, you know, and Claire's been part of the Hackney food team for years and years yeah. and years. She's a good friend and her cakes are, you know, second to none. What's your so favourite cake there? It's really hard to say. Um, I think my favourite cake there is a ginger and molasses cake, so... That sounds like it's yeah. going to be a real dark, I mean, dense one. No messing. No messing. That's the great thing about Violet. They kind of switch things up. It was a few favourites like they solids, always yeah. have. Yeah, so you know. Okay. And her book is brilliant as well. Yeah, it's amazing. I cook from it a lot. Yeah. 